How do I retain information? I read from books. If you've ever struggled to remember information from a book, especially a textbook for a class with an upcoming exam, then you're not alone. By the end of this article, the hope is that you'll retain the tips provided and can use them to boost your information retention skills. I'd two, face challenges in remembering things while reading. And I hope the following tips can be beneficial for you if you're dealing with the same issue. Below, you'll find a list of strategies I've employed in the past to cope with this problem. Feel free to integrate these techniques into your reading sessions to enhance your retention, whether you're studying or simply reading a book for entertainment. If you are having trouble retaining information from books you read then it is best to remove distractions and spread your studying and reading out more evenly. Try not to read when you're tired and feeling sleepy. Another thing that might hurt you from retaining information is reading right after you just eat as it might make you feel more sleepy. Be in a room with a comfortable climate. Reading can become challenging in extreme temperatures, whether it's too chilly, hot, or humid, making it difficult to focus. Windy days outdoors can lead to pages turning uncontrollably, disrupting your reading. To fully enjoy your reading experience, Pick a comfortable room with a climate that allows you to focus without external disturbances, isolation. A while back, I observed that isolating myself in a confined learning space significantly improved my ability to focus, learn, and engage with my textbooks. This experience led me to understand why college setups often feature desks designed like booths, where you can't see anyone in front or to the side of you. Such secluded spaces seem to promote increased concentration and Consequently, a more effective environment for reading and learning. Don't read when you're tired. Choosing the right time to read plays a major role in retaining information effectively. Taking the wrong time could be counterproductive, especially when fatigue sets in, hindering information retention. Identify the periods of the day when you feel most focused. It's a personal preference. Discovering your optimal reading time allows you to read when your energy levels are at their peak, ensuring a more meaningful and effective reading experience. Reread what you already read. While it might seem painful, there are times when rereading is essential to fully absorb information from a book. I've had instances where I had to reread certain sections up to 10 times before my mind grasped all the details. If you're committed to retaining the information, putting in the effort to reread challenging parts is important. It's a strategy that requires dedication, but it can significantly pay off when you fully absorb all of the information. Spread your reading apart. Pulling an all-nighter to cram everything for an exam the next day is counterproductive because the human brain has limits on how much information it can retain in a certain time frame. To enhance your chances of passing a test and retaining information, it's advisable to start studying as soon as you learn about the upcoming test. I used to space out my study sessions evenly over the days leading up to my exam. For example, if the exam was announced 10 days in advance, I'd aim to read the required material about twice a day. If I felt my brain wasn't absorbing the information effectively to achieve the desired grade, then I'd increase the frequency to three or four times until I felt confident I would ace the test. These practices have been instrumental in improving my ability to retain information from reading books. Transitioning from a slightly above average student to a more proficient one, I experienced a significant boost in my grades. I share these tips in the hope that they assist you in learning to retain information more effectively, ultimately contributing to better grades on your upcoming exam.